Hey guys, today I'm showing you my 3D flower and gem application. I'm using my 3D brush, which is a size 4 that will be available on my website real soon. So I've got just white plain acrylic, placing the bead on the nail, trying to make it into like a C shape, into a bit of a sausage. like that and then use the belly of your brush rather than the tip start to press just keep pressing it out it doesn't have to be perfectly round or anything because flowers aren't all the same and they're not all perfect second bead now I have sped this up slightly for you as well by the way just to make it a bit easier because otherwise you would be watching forever. Again making that C shape or circular shape. Allowing it to just dry a little bit before you start to press. Again with the belly of the brush. You want to wait for the acrylic to go slightly matte before you start to press it. Pressing out, so it's quite nice and thin. So if you notice, I keep doing the beads in the opposite way, just gradually building it up. dry moment and now this time I'm not using as much of the belly just a little bit but I'm starting to get a bit closer to the tip of the brush now smaller beads now this time you don't need too much product here making a little baby C or a little baby shape Make sure you let this go slightly dry before you start pressing it, which I did, but obviously it doesn't look like I did because I sped it up. But using the tip of my brush now, the very tipsy, pressing that out. Into the center now, make sure you drain out that bead like I just did. Leave that for a moment. And then using the very tip of your 3D brush, you're going to poke right in there, wiggle it round, press out there, pressing it at the same time, and then just tuck in that little bit there. You can use your brush to move it out or curl it in more. Get in there with just the very tip of your brush, and there you have it. Now gems, my Kiara Sky Dip Essentials base I use for this. I've already applied three, but I'm gonna show you how to use it. So just need a little bit. Place it on. Obviously you can use a wax stick if you don't wanna use pincers like me. A Little bit more. Now this is on my website under the Kiara Sky Dip Essentials. It is actually supposed to be for um, dip powder, but it makes a fantastic resin glue for gems. It's the best I've ever used for keeping my Swarovski crystals on. I've never used anything better as of yet, so I'm a big fan of it, and I will leave the link to this below in the description box for you. I did also previously video the ombre nail which I'm working on today on one of my other videos if you'd like to check that out. Oh, look at those crystals. So as you can see, it's really easy to use and then it air dries. It doesn't need curing or anything. I'd say just give it a few seconds and then you're good to go. Also, don't forget, even if you use a no wipe top coat like I do, you have to cleanse the nail first before you apply your base, otherwise they will slide round forever. And there you have it guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. 
I will be posting the links to everything below in the description box and uh, please subscribe and give me the thumbs up if you loved it too and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye!